These are yellow jackets, a kind of wasp. These are the ones you typically find buzzing around your outdoor cafes. When looking for food, they're not typically aggressive. I wanted to dispel much of the fear people have about yellow jacket wasps. Watch how docile yellow jackets are even when disturbed while eating. You can mess with them. As long as you don't hurt them, I pet them. There's a whole nest of them here. Put my hair right into them. As long as you do it gently, you don't overreact. They're busy eating, they don't care. When they're dangerous is when they're defending their nest and young. So you pick them up, play with them, and crawl on you. They're not going to sting you. It costs energy to produce the poison that stings, so they tend to use it wisely only when threatened or defending their nests. They're quite tolerant to touch, and I'd have to restrain them in order for them to sting me. A stinger sticking out there. It's not going to sting you. People who get stung are those who smack them and force the uh, you know, stinger response right into their skin. It's every one of them. Can't even, so, so engorged it can't even fly. Notice how swollen their abdomens are? They've engorged themselves so much on this rotten apple that they can't fly anymore. Oh, wait. Or yellow jackets. I don't know how these fat bees get home without flying, but yellow jackets make nests underground. Perhaps you'll just pup crawl home. Got a nice form, nice color. Good warning. Like, back off, don't touch me. Even it knows it ate too much. Time to lighten the load. I can moderately mess with these and they're not going to sting you. I can even pet, look at that, petting him. And I can do nothing. All I care about is food and acquisition of energy, calories. Look at that, keep disturbing it. Get on my finger here. It's also too fat to fly. There you go. So he's too fat to fly too. Too fat to fly. You know, it's not going to sting me. It's just, just another part of the its world. If I put my thumb on top of it, it might it might sting me. My point is, these wasps aren't out to get you. To them, you're just another part of the matrix that they live in. It costs energy to sting, and they have to reproduce that poison. So they mainly use it for defensive purposes. But if you smack it or step on it, it's going to sting you. If one lands on you, try not to panic and just blow it off rather than knocking it off. You've heard the term, stung by a dead bee. If you smack it, the stinger is going to penetrate your skin. I hope this video calms some of the fears you may have about the yellow jacket wasp. I can see his fangs, maybe. There, I can see his fangs. Oh my gosh, that's a huge spider. These guys are huge, they're very fast. Extremely fast when they run. Oh my gosh. 